Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. Don't forget to subscribe. And today we're once again talking about artificial intelligence because they're starting to exhaust hardware supplies. This ha honestly has some serious ramifications for not just consumers, but businesses as well. In Kishlea, uh, Kundu of TechSpot had a really interesting write-up on this. And here's what's going on, because if you didn't know, prices for critical PC components have really started to soar in recent months, and that's thanks to hardware and semiconductor makers struggling to meet surging AI demand. So, a new report indicates that AI-driven consumption is now causing storage shortages, with delivery times for enterprise hard drives stretching beyond two years. Two years, 24 months. So according to the tech publication out of Taiwan known as the Digitimes, most AI firms are unwilling to wait two years, obviously, for hard disk drive supplies to stabilize, so they are shifting to SSDs as well. So industry observers expect a surge in QLC-based SSD demand from data centers in the United States, Canada, and China, and they are expecting that to trigger a consumer SSD shortage. The rapid growth of the AI sector and the race towards AI, uh, or rather AGR, or artificial general intelligence, have put a massive strain on the infrastructure supporting hyperscale data centers. And so beyond GPUs, the, the basically the graphic cards of the world, and accelerators, the surge has driven unprecedented demand for every layer of PC hardware, from CPUs to memory to high-speed networking, large-scale storage arrays, and on and on and on. So this soaring demand has pushed components prices very, very high. It's moving up sharply. DRAM, for example, uh, basically memory for your computer, has climbed nearly 50% in recent weeks. And reports indicate that AI data center operators in the US and China now receive only about 70% of their DRAM allocations, even after agreeing to pay inflated prices. In other words, the manufacturers for essentially all of these components cannot keep up with the absolute demand. The, the, the building boom right now is data centers and that has some long-term deleterious effects across the entire globe. Energy consumption, water consumption, land use, a whole bunch of different things, not to mention emissions and everything else is really starting to drive this up. But this also means that what we're gonna see is surging prices for consumers, meaning you're gonna buy that computer for $1,000, now maybe it's $2,000. That's what we're talking about here, and businesses that need to basically try and grow now have to basically bake in added costs as they are buying components to try and just have a business function. They're not trying to build AI, they're just trying to work in Excel, but here we are, right? So. This has long-term serious effects, and I think it really needs to to it really needs to be addressed. I think around the world, not to mention the fact that we should probably have uh, basically by law maybe some guaranteed set asides for consumers. You know, in a capitalist economy, I totally get it. It is absolute competition, but if the consumers can't really compete or get on a level playing field in some way, shape, or form, that's a bit of an issue. And at the end of the day, and I'm a capitalist at heart, I've started multiple businesses in my life, you know, so this is a problem. We're going to have to address this. And quite frankly, it's not going away. I think it's only going to get worse. So if you were planning on buying a computer, buy it now. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please, please, please attempt to stay private, informed, and secure. Take care.